Hi, I'm Nadi. Today, we're gonna make a dubstep track that keeps getting progressively heavier and heavier. At the beginning of the song, we'll have maybe some relaxed rhythm, but at the end of the song, we're gonna have some extremely heavy tear out. Throughout this video, you'll notice me using a lot of sample packs from Avant Samples, who have some really dope sample packs. If you're interested in any of the sample packs I use in this video, there will be an affiliate link in the description that you can use to directly support me with any sample pack purchase you make. I'd really appreciate you checking them out. With that said, let's get started. All right, we're in the studio. So I'm thinking we make like, maybe like three or four drops each drop just get progressively yeah progressively heavier so we got to start with like some like a loompa type heaviness but throughout the the song i do want to have like a, a flow that is consistent so it has to be a pretty unique flow that also lasts kind of a long time uh for it to complete one phrase so that we can repeat it a lot and then it feels more coherent and then we'll do the same thing with an intro motif that we can repeat in and in, in varying levels of like heaviness that like when by the time we're at the tear out stage for example there'll be like a choir whereas earlier it was just like a sine wave pluck or something like that so yeah let's let's get started I I'd say we start with just the, the funny rhythm drop, like, let's get a percussion thingy, maybe frequency shifted a little bit. Okay, sick. Um, let's get a nice sub going. Shouldn't be too, like, crazy. Nothing too crazy. Let's put this in uh, D minor. Cool, let's get some rhythm drums. Let's get like this one, and then kind of cut out the transient. This one's from uh, Avant Samples Neonix pack. That should be like a pretty like light kick. Okay, and get a clap. Let's get this one also from the uh, Neonix sample pack from Avant Samples. I don't know if this is gonna sound good. Let's find out. We gotta, we definitely gotta soft clip that. Cool, let's get a hi-hat. Okay, cool, let's get some ambience going. Ooh. This is cool. What, this is also from the Neonic sample. Wow, this is just like a Neonic sample pack like <laughs> video at this point. Just like frequency shift that up and then EQ it a bit. Use that as, as like ambience. Like. Okay, cool. Maybe a little bit of like reverb. This definitely has to be a little bit more washed out than it is right now. Alright, and that's also a bit much, too much reverb. Okay, cool, let's get a little, uh, bass here. Ooh. Yeah, that's dope. It's from, uh, Depth Step 01, from Avant Samples. I don't want to do, like, a bobo bo oh. Let's do like a little filter action here. Ooh. Yeah, and then let's do like a bit of this. And then uh, leave out this. I feel like this sub isn't the sub isn't chunky enough. Like I'm very used to having chunky subs, so this is this is rather off-putting. Have such a clean sub. Okay, cool. Get a little reverb rack going. Okay, cool. And then cut out the ambience right here. Cool. And then, oh, we could do one of those uh, repitch um, thingies where we go like this. Um, like we start from like a high value and then we can go down like this. Watch. Yeah.
Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. And then right here we cut it off. The stupid kid's little uh, face hit thingy in the bobber. And then frequency shift it. Not really a whole lot of um, like resonant frequencies to this. Corpus or something? I wish it was more integrated into the sound than that. Maybe we could like do something with the sample itself, like... Kind of a lot of uh, cool frequencies there in the low end. Oh, this would sound a lot better if it was like... Um, yeah, let's reverb rack this. Okay, I, I kind of want to just shift this around because because of like ear fatigue because I heard the sound a little too much. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Oh my god, bro, that is so fucking sick. Jesus. My god, that is that is like so perfect right there. I was not ready for that at all. <laughs> I went from this to that. Oh. Okay, so let's do, I think we should do three drops, because this is already like kind of moderately heavy. I don't think I can make this go like any less heavy, um, so we couldn't use this as like a second drop. Um, but let's like duplicate this, make it into like a, like a kind of he heavier rhythm song. And then take that and turn that into a tear out song. Um, but first, let's make an intro. I start with just a very basic, like, kind of minor chord type intro. Okay. I don't like that. That. I want to do like a like a like a silly goofy piano. Let's uh let's try this. God, um, let's turn up the release a little bit. Okay, cool. Let's duplicate that and then get a secondary pluck that goes under it. And then we make that like a, like a saw pluck, like a little noise pluck.
Okay, let's get some uplifters. <laughs> that drum just doesn't fit this, the intro at all. Oh, that's funny. Okay, sick. Oh, this, I love this. Sounds great. Um, eight. Resample, we gotta resample this. It's not doing it, it's not doing the thing. That's because it's the wrong one. Let's just do it from the group. Maybe we should like un undelay it, like. Yeah, it's getting a little crash. I like the DMB ones from Avant samples. Like, uh, some. Maybe it would be a, a good idea to like resample the um, the little uh, spooky lead and then reverb that out and put it in the drop so that it feels more coherent. I like I like this. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Now let's move on to a second drop where it like it's like this drop, but heavier, of course. Um so let's let's duplicate the entire drop section and just shift that over to like here we might want to go for some different drums like i think we're gonna have to get some like way splashier drums let's see but yeah i think something like that would be good okay and then dimension expander Okay, and then let's let's just make this go like way way crazier with like an amp and a, like a fat rack and stuff. Let's get a new kick as well. Let's just get a new set of drums in, in general. Excellent like that from the Neonic sample pack. Of course, from Avant samples. Shift this around a little bit, this so the pitch isn't the same. Okay, cool. Let's get a little EQ thingy and then plop that just right here. Oh, we could do like we could do this, like. Yeah, that's sick. I want to add a little bit of dimension slash room to the clap. We also need some like splashy like rides slash crashes. Let's see if we can find some good ones. Yeah, like this DMD one. From on samples. I don't know if the um little uh little doo -doo 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 spooky thing in is, is appropriate for this drop anymore. Ooh, yes. Oh, that has such a nice dimension to it. I love that. I love that. Just by fat racking that a little bit more. And then we could just we could just ditch the delay and just make it this like way more insane by like do some do some cool stretch stuff. And I, oh I can automate this. <gasps> I think it's relative though, like I have to... Yeah, 
Turn the distortion down a little bit, that's, that's kind of a lot. Ooh, yeah. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna duplicate the arrangement of this and put it here and then just delete that. We don't want to deal with all that, so we're just going to ignore that it exists and then make it different here. Also, this is like extremely loud and it's kind of causing the drums to get drowned out. It's not ideal. Not, not ideal. Oh, oh no, the drums are just incorrect. That sounds really good. I like it. And compared to the first drop, it's like it's like definitely increasing in, in intensity and heaviness. Like that's super mild, and then this is like you know. Maybe I'm still <laughs> I don't know if we made the right choice by going like so like silly goofy Halloween on this. I mean it kind of works, I guess. I think it should- I think the transition needs to be a little smoother though, like it, it's gotta- it's gotta actually go like... atonal. Let's just take this, and then duplicate okay here. Um, I'm thinking we just kind of duplicate the intro section, I don't feel like- I don't feel like doing stupid automations and annoying procedures to get this to work. So I'm just gonna, just gonna duplicate it. Okay, now I think we go for like a choir. Reverb that. And then let's, let's get a little bit more serious with the uh, piano and stuff. Yeah, let's put that piano there, and then let's duplicate that and get in, uh, like, a church choir organ thing. I really should- oh, okay, I do. Let's fuck- Oh! Uh, reverb that. Oh! Oh! <gasps> gotta go, like, um... And then get the EQ thing. And then make it go like sweep like this. And then get a little crash and an impact. Let's get that one. The one from Avant Tech House Elements Impact 6. And we need a bit more risers for this, I think. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, sick. Now I say we duplicate the drop and we move on to a tear out drop, which is gonna be really heavy. Let's uh, go for it. Let's duplicate the drop section. I'm thinking we do a little uh, snare upgrade in this one. I guess, I mean, just a general drum upgrade, honestly. Let's see what we got for kicks. There's some really hefty kicks in the uh, in the uh, Neonix pack, which are like perfect for that. I like that one. Okay, um, so what I wanna keep, I think I just want the sub from that. How about this? I'll, I'll just turn off the, um, this stuff. Okay, and then get a gigantic snare. Yeah, let's do this. And then let's get this from the uh, clap, and then we'll layer that here. And if you have the uh, fundamental from the reverb layer. Okay, sick. Let's get the drums from here. 
And let's get the three crash loops right here. I think we should turn on the sidechain right here. Actually, I think I'm gonna go for a um, for one of my own kicks. It would just work a little bit better. Okay, now we have to make this heavier, first of all. So let's let's first let's start by like just shifting this down a bit. And then just fat racking it. it. It needs to have a lot of like low mids and stuff. It's also amp it a little. Nice. Okay, and now we need to do the, the classic tear out gun like layer. We're gonna put that on probably the coordinates, and then it's gonna like just fucking gonna amp up the space a lot. So that's 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 exactly what we're looking for. Exactly like that. Then shift that down a little bit more. Cool, and then let's get a sustain base going. Oh, there's like there's like this specific kind of sustain base that I really want to do, but I have no idea how to make it, which is super unfortunate. I think I could probably get it close. Elfo square, put that on note mode, and then triplets. And then take this on oscillator two, put this up like an octave or something. Yeah, like that. Just a telephone. That's basically all it is. It's just a telephone base. Cool. Add a redux or an amp and a redux. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. And then we fat rack that, and make it stereo. Oh, big fake out. I like that. I like that. That was unintentional. This is extremely messy, but we'll work with it. Uh, da, da, uh little, uh, little uh, tape stop. Sick. Big to shift this up. Okay, let's do some more tweaking to the sound designer here. Oh. That's cool. I don't know what happened there. You know, why don't we just do this? Well, just jump right back into it because we've we're changing it up every time. Let's just change it up again. Fuck it. We need a fill. Yeah, this is this should be good. One seven four. I don't know what to do for this first fill, like... Kinda wanna just hit him with like a... Just a massive growl. Let's see what we got for growls. Let's uh, pitch modulate this a little bit. Ooh. Okay, sick. So I copy this here. Oh wait, wait, what am I doing? This is way better. This is way better. Dog. Oh yeah, no, let's go with that. Like. Ooh. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. We need the uh, Lex Luger riser right there. It, it sounds a little bit goofy, so I'm just gonna do this. Wow, that is still incredibly recognizable. That's crazy. There we go. Okay, let's make a little section going from the second drop to the third drop. Let's just duplicate the uh, intro section again, and then we will yeah, we'll slap that right there, and then we'll ma we'll make it a lot more menacing than it is right now, so that it fits more with the tear out theme. It's time for a full listen.
Let's fucking go! That was sick. That was so sick. I really, I'm so happy with the end result, man. That is that is like really, really dope. Yeah, I think that turned out absolutely wonderful. Let me know if you like this video with a comment down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.